on the last episode of Web Life Atlanta. I think people were under the impression that it was going to be more HBO After Dark, and it was more like Coco Dorm. Cheers. I started that. I, I I get what I get what you're saying, but at the same time, I'm like, is that any different from say? Like Candy being a singer and then doing like a burlesque show or Candy Coated Nights, selling sex toys. Yeah, but he not Candy, at least not yet. I see we've been dating for, you know, two and two and two and a half years, a year and a half or so. We've been engaged for over a year. She's looking gorgeous as ever. Like, oh my God, like I can't believe I'm about to make her my wife. What's up, pretty lady? Oh, but I am about to crash this shit. Cause I'm a lady. Yeah, I'm happy for you. Bullshit. Hmm, that's crazy cause your face didn't say you was happy for me. You got all the looks but you don't like looks. People just think that he's messy for some reason, but is he messy? I feel so attacked today. Well, Let me tell today. you, the kids just don't know. Never, ever, ever. Cause I always tell people, doubt me so I can show up and show out. I get the text from Mikey, and he's telling me about a slumber party pajama party. So was I not invited? So I guess Mikey calls himself trying to get us together or whatnot, but you know, in classic fashion of, you know, me, I have to make an interest, bitch, you didn't invite me. And I have a problem with it. Today is my slumber party. I have done everything I needed to do. I put all the stops, I made sure we had all the great food. And I walked in and yo, I was pleasantly surprised. I thought Brandon had picked a great hotel. He had a nice food set up. The food was good as hell too. I don't know who cooked it, but that macaroni and cheese was it. I even had this situation catered, okay? Catered. <laughs> he did that. <laughs> we got the great place, we have a great space, and then we got some great people. So I'm just super excited to see who can come out? Take that moment away. Again, I think it's water that you need to hear. Another thing I thought would be really, really interesting about this slumber party is if I brought in someone who is attached to the spiritual world, if you will. So I got a tarot card reader. <laughs> you can go ahead and read these bitches because to be completely honest with you, I don't necessarily have the time. Listen. I'm glad everybody could come. Not I everybody got some pajamas myself from Lusted by Armani. You know, a real Asian mix, silk looking outfit. I feel like I was the best dressed guy there. Oh. So I wanted to go ahead and pause the game for just a quick second. Once the pajama party got going, then um, Brandon stopped to make an announcement. Everybody was like, well, what's about to happen? I chose this night to introduce some of the closest people that I know to the closest person to me right now. So this is my boyfriend, if you guys have not met him. This is Sean. So I think this is the perfect opportunity to really, you know, introduce people to him and... And, um... <laughs> our situation is very different um, from any other situation I've ever had. Um, I'm not necessarily sure if you guys know this, but I typically keep my relationship under wraps. And um, with this particular one, I decided to keep it completely, extremely under wraps. And now I'm ready to open.
chairs, the windows, any closets or anything, the hallway, whatever the fuck I need to, to just introduce anybody and everybody I know to my man. Um, so I appreciate you for coming. And this night um, is actually secretly dedicated to you. Oh, oh, so nice. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, so <laughs> I'll do that for you. Get into this whole relationship and this black gay love, honey. A toast. <laughs> for some, well, I mean, I don't think everyone has a drink. It's a problem. But okay, so we could go, just put your hearts in the air. Put your hearts in. All right, cheers, cheers, cheers. cheers. Thank you guys so much for coming. Yes. Yes. Absolutely amazing. Thank you guys. Okay. All right, we can start the game back. So and. Now, not only am I gonna show up, I'm gonna bring me a plus one. I'm gonna bring my homeboy through here that's gonna come through, and he's a lot like me. So you already know, together, we ain't finna play with none of these bitches up in here. Um, and everything was flowing well. He had the psychic in the back. Everybody was laughing, having a good time, and then. No, fuck, she said me like that. I hear a loud police knock at the door. Like, you know how somebody bamming at your door like they police? That's a police knock. <laughs> It is a police hug. Well, my first thought was like somebody next door is probably complaining, saying that we're too loud. I mean, I hope it's like not too much going on or a noise thing. Or I could have sworn, you know, the SWAT team had come by or, you know, somebody's mad husband. I don't know because I do have the tendency to make people's husbands mad because, I mean. <laughs> and immediately I see, um, a gargoyle. Hey! Hey, what's up? <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Why is he here? These bitches actually have the nerve to slam the door in my face. He's trying to make amends. This is just a way for just just see how I can talk, please. I invited Carl guys to Brandon's pajama party because I wanted to see if we can bring some peace into the group. He's gonna be good. He's gonna be good. He's gonna be good. He's gonna be good. You're gonna be good, right? I'm good. What's going on? You don't party over here? Mikey didn't even tell them that I was even coming. <laughs> oh, you look cute. I love this. I wish I could Please return the favor. What? Hey, why are you here? Hey. Hello. Hi. Hey, you you owe me an explanation. Me? Uh, like I said, I wanted y'all to try to get along. Me and him had a conversation. I am getting tired of Michael J. Fan. He decided to become Ayanla Fix My Life, trying to, you know, go and mend these bridges that were burned down, that he helped to build. He said he's gonna act right. This is his way of making man. And you didn't right. warn me because of this. Because, Brandy, I know you. He knew exactly what he was doing by inviting Carl. You would not have let him if come. If you would have known me, you would have known not to invite somebody who is completely Correct, disrespectful. But when else would you have spoken And then to he brought a plus one? So, uh, at the time it seemed like a good idea. <laughs> Uh, hi. Fun, but hi guys, how are you? I don't want nice to be rude to you. Right. I don't want to be rude to you. Right. That's perfectly uh, fine because okay. I didn't invite you, but okay. I mean, that's cool too. Yeah, I, I actually didn't want you to touch the threshold. But the at the too. end of the day, right. well, that's fine. You can shade your way back else. out too. Wait a minute. But wait, 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 wait. Okay, so let me get this straight. Carl is uninvited. He brings a plus one who is also equally as rude and obnoxious as he is. Um, who has a lot of mouth for some reason. I'm not necessarily sure where that energy is coming from, but birds of a feather, I guess. Right here, okay, can you I give me a second, look, please? Okay, well, I didn't you know, tell you to bring a plus come on, there, but come please. Girl, come stand please, by me, bitch. I'm Mikey. I'm right, look. What? This, this guy named Darnell from the Sip and Tea radio show, like, I don't know if y'all know him or not, but he's, he's over the top. And yeah, he was a plus one of a plus one. Bitch, I'm coming Hi. to the too. Just, just breathe, please, please breathe. Don't nobody have coos. Thanks for having me. Please breathe. <laughs> Ooh, look at that! I'm so Why are bitch. you so loud? I just want to look late. I know Brandon very, very well, and I know him and Carl would have had this whole issue between them unless they actually got face to face and talked it out. First of all, before before we before we even go there, I actually don't want to feed you or give you any type of libation or anything Damn, bitch, until we have a conversation about the last time we let's ran into each other. Come, come on, let's go. Don't pull me. You put me you. in this unfortunate situation and it's extremely out. not okay. okay. It's not okay, I get it, but I'm trying to handle the situation. Come, can we please talk about the other room? Okay, please. What's your problem? 
I don't have a problem. What is the problem? You obviously, I mean, it's, it's an obvious, it's an obvious problem because at this point, it's gotten like extremely disrespectful. I, mean, I, I think it was music. I didn't know if y'all could hear me, so I wanted to make sure. Anyway, Child. we had a conversation, right? Y'all are so rude. You said, no, 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 you said, listen, we had a conversation, right? You and I at the radio station. We did. It's just not how you present information to people, and it just wasn't the place for that. I'm not saying you can't talk about it, mm -hmm. but the way you presented it was real salacious. But I do apologize for how it came off, because I didn't want to try to come off like I was trying to be messy. It just I was looking like, you know, we're talking about body positivity and but stuff. So. You said you were apologetic, so why don't you say the thing I that you said it. to me to Brandon? Heartfelt, though. Now, Brandon, so much okay. Sexual. Now, hold on. Let's, okay. let's, let's clear it. Help, Help me understand. We good, bro. We good. Thank we you good. so much, We good. Bro. We are great. Thank you, sir. No, thank you. That's my bitch. Hold on. Now, listen. And you should have brought him, because I didn't tell you. No, you wait a minute. That's my girl. She's Carl, already Carl, with me. Carl, Carl, at the end of the day, you weren't invited. Okay. Why would you bring someone else with you? Mikey did invite me, but you. I didn't know. That is so rude. Okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and chomp it up to you just being a rude ass bitch. Can Conversation. We yes or no? Can yeah, we work I, this out? I'm trying. Okay. So Am I not that. trying? Okay. I, I Good part of this whole situation is that me and Brandon do get a chance to sit down. I do feel that after everything that happened at the brunch, I think it's good that we actually sit down and talk. I just want to understand. Uh, okay, hold on. Excuse my sensitivity. Because at the end of the day, what I know of you is not that. And you showed me something completely different. What did I show you? Look, I asked a question. Y'all threw me out of your brunch. Let's start there. Okay. Let, let me tell you what you did. Wait, 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 wait. Let me tell you what you did. You asked a question, and then you continued to ask more invasive questions that had nothing to do with what was being talked about. What did I you, ask? Was first of all, you asked me about the OnlyFans situation. I have noticed that you've been doing OnlyFans. Like, what is going on? Huh. Yeah. It's you public, asked me ain't it? if I was still yeah it's it's public so why ask me about it then you why asked me it? oh okay so how's your money you you asked about my financial situation I was yeah. trying to show the check should be rolling very the nicely right. and what's going on with everything let me tell you it something just, that don't have shit to okay. do with you mind you I'm talking to Brandon and he seems a little bit, you know, he doesn't seem that open as I thought he would be. I'm not digging in your pocket. I don't yes. want your money. And yes. at the end of the day, I want us to be on the same page we and are. to be full. But I cannot be around a disrespectful bitch. I apologize. Let's look, look, I wasn't trying to be respectful. I'm just okay. trying. I was asking questions. That okay. was it. Brent, Brent, you know I love you, bitch. You know. I see you. You see, I, I mean, that's fine. Bitch, I see you too. You look at Okay, you, we you see each other. You look come on. Okay, up, I see, you. I see you. Okay. I see you. I'm, look, I'm All right. I told you the pajama part. You can at least came in pajamas. I was going to. I had a red carpet interview. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. You had a red carpet interview and you dressed for the club. I did. It said they said urban wear, so I gave them what they needed. Okay. It's on Let's, trend. So, so are we good? Can we be some kind of good? Look, y'all go out and enjoy y'all party. I'll I will be shake. Right I, will, I will shake. Come. We will shake off. Okay. Right, give, give me a little bit. Okay. Right yeah. here. Yay. Yay. See? I honestly think that Mikey may have been on to something with getting us together to try to talk something out. I don't necessarily think that I got the closure that I wanted out of the situation, but I did get answers. We got, come we're here, great. man. Come we're great. We, come come here. Comfortable. Y'all go ahead and tell y'all again. No, I am sorry. Hi, how are you? I'm sorry. No, we tried to forget. It's nice to meet you. Mwah. How are you? Yes. How you should have started. Mwah. Mwah. We're not yeah, going to talk about how stuff should have started. Yeah, she, you know that bitch is a fire started. You know, nine times out of 10, he was, you know, drunk off his ass and didn't understand what he was saying or why he was even being a bitch. And then I get to meet his boyfriend, which I didn't know that he had, but you know, all right, let's go ahead and talk about that and, you know, get to know his new man. Uh, anywho, okay. Hey, right. what's what going this? on? Oh, well, this girl? is my boyfriend. You you were extremely late to an event that you weren't invited to, so, I mean, that's cool. But um, this is my boyfriend, Sean. Sean, this is I'm hey, Carl. Sean, how are you? Nice to, nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet you too. You were really cute. Thank you. You gotta you did good, bitch. I always do good. Oh my gosh, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of, I do want to apologize. Well, I'm just crying. Uh, well, no, it's a, it's an apology. Is okay. what it is. Is that what we're doing? Well, I'm being extremely specific. Well, I don't know what is happening right now. It might no sound way. a little shady, but I, I really don't. No. <laughs> well, no, I'm not. I'm not throwing shade. I promise. Okay. I just wanted to apologize because I felt like it was disrespectful. Okay. And I felt disrespected, so I responded. Somebody needs, it's a little situation out here. Yeah? Yeah, a little situation. Oh, okay. Now, of course, in regular party fashion, when shit happens, you know, and, and when things get hot, you know, it tends to burn in other places. So, 
Simultaneously, I'm having to go and put out fires in other places. Um, so Mikey kind of just pulls me out to put out a fire. Go ahead, girl, knock it out. Okay. You good? What's we just want to just go ahead. You straight? Your friends ain't my friends. Girl, we just talk. Girl, we ain't. Okay. What is wrong? I don't know what's going on. Listen, I just got here. I don't know what's going on. My, I, now, this will give you a little backstory. But I got into it with your man like maybe a week or two ago. Like, he wouldn't even get into it. I asked the question, he got upset. But I was asking about his OnlyFans. So you, you okay with his OnlyFans? Stuff? Okay, yeah, I got one. So oh, you got oh. one? Oh! So you're, you're with, he's with you, you're not with him. No, I'm with him, he's with me. We're okay. with each other. Oh, so okay. Oh, so y'all, how long y'all been dating? Six months. Six months. Six months. That's cute. That's long. In, in, in <laughs> so you have no issue with the fact that he used to date Mikey and they live That ain't been a problem for you? I mean... Unless you didn't know that. <laughs> I don't think he knew that girl. Okay, let me tell you what. That's something Child, you have. Let me stop. They're going to throw me up out no, of here. No, tell us. Give her to him. Yeah. He like, Look, your, he like I, your raw. Everybody keeps saying, I'm being messy. Right, right. I'm not being, okay, let me tell you what happened. The truth is what we're doing. It's not even, look, I'm, I, this is the disclaimer. I'm not being messy. I just like tea. Okay? So this is what happened. I'm, me and Mikey, I had this uh, event that we had. It was a series that I did. He was telling me like he had fucking fuck Mikey shit. He had fucked Brandon shit up. And he was talking about how Brandon had pissed him off. This is when I first met Mike. And then all of a sudden, Brandon's his roommate. And I said, hmm. Everybody, it's been rumors going around they've been dating. Now, according to Mikey, they have dated. So, well, how y'all friends? That's all, that's, I don't think he I mean, that's what I'm saying. So like, how y'all friends? From my perspective, perspective it wasn't dating. Oh, okay. So, um, I mean, but, maybe you know. Was okay. But don't tell her what I told you until I get a plate at first. I know she's going to be mad. They're going to throw me out. I can throw, they throw me out everywhere I go somewhere. I just want to, let me get some chicken first. I know you're just your man. You probably don't tell about that. And that's fine. You know, I ain't got no problem. I, don't, I can repeat anything I say. I just want some chicken first. Let me get some chicken. Okay, that's it. That's it. Girl, come on. Go get some chicken when we get kicked out of here again. <laughs> yeah, boy, I didn't bring him. Boy, boy, boy. <laughs> I saw him so upset, so I, I, I don't know. That's what when I went up here, I'm here, I'm, you know, Sean here. I'm like, oh, okay. We start vibing again, and then, kaboom! Because I don't know, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Typically, Happy about getting snatched up by my man. Yeah. After I done told him all this, now he gets all Makai Pfeiffer and soul food. And him bird up me along in the corner in, in the salon. I was like, yo, what is about to go down? <laughs> to the bathroom. Um, and I'm not necessarily sure why. You know, I so, so. What is this? I'm trying to figure out what is going on. The only other person I know that had been in the room with us besides Miss Cheetah Print Girl was Carl. That I'm hearing about you and Mikey dating. Why didn't I hear about it? Yeah, it's good. It's, it's all good. I mean, why didn't I find out about it? What the fuck? Oh, uh, Mikey, again, Captain Saver. She always here. She always got Brandon back. Is that the reason why I wasn't invited to the brunch? That's not why you wasn't invited to the brunch. Baby. So what was it? Live together. Like why so would that why even be a did thing? They feel compelled to tell me, tell me what's going on. Like stop playing with me, Sean. Stop playing with me because you're smiling in my right. face and it's about to piss me off. Because it's stop. Not, there is nothing going on. I don't even know why this is even a situation. Who told you this? Your friend. My friend. That you didn't invite, but it's here. So, maybe I talk too much. Y'all think I talk too much? I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but you need to figure that out. Why is your friend coming to tell me some shit that you should have told me First from the get-go? This nigga is not my friend. He's a friend of so Mikey's. Why is Mikey invited. Here? You really letting these motherfuckers who was not invited get under your fucking skin about a situation that you know about? It seems like they know about you more than I know about you. Really? 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 What do you need for me Why to get the you to calm down? Fuck are they still here? Oh, I about one. What they 
they came out arguing and yelling. And I don't know what that was about, but I had, you know, classic me. I went and grabbed my motherfucking goddamn plate of chicken because I always take a go box wherever I go. And yeah, I love. I ain't got time for that. Y'all hash that out. And if y'all want to talk to me, y'all can do that some other time. Right now, I just came to get my plate. And me and my homegirl, we get up out of here. Uh, can we, can I get a moment? I just, can y'all cut? So after everything kind of calms down and after the necessary trash was taken out, the party actually became a hit, you know? Everything was good, the drinks were flowing, you know? The food was, was great. Um, the space was amazing and the tarot card reader was great. <sighs> Oh, man. You feel okay? Fuck good. I mean, I just wanted to make sure it was good. I mean, I'm great, because last night was a, a moment. I feel like, again, if you would have just told me, it wouldn't have been such a shock or a surprise. Yeah. But it just doesn't, it doesn't stop me from loving you though. I had nothing to tell you because that was nothing. Like, that was all drama. It was all just a pot being stirred. So you have no issue with the fact that he used to date Mikey and they live You were a casualty of it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And the fact that I walked away and that conversation was happening. It just shows like what I'm dealing with. You know what I'm saying? So I just have to take care of that situation. But exactly. That's why I was confused as to why bring that to me. Yeah. And I tried to stay clear from the drama. Yeah. It just fueled more fire that was going on. But at the end of the day, it's still better to hear from you yeah. than to hear it from somebody that I really don't know. I respect that. Let what happened last night stay in the past. Right. <laughs> <Behind> so, <us. laughs> I don't know. It, it just almost kind of feels like I might actually just be like a little novelty in uh ongoing like war between him and Mikey. Like, I feel like... I think that he specifically came to you and stirred that pot with you because like maybe I'm just a little carrot that Carl feels like he can dangle over Mikey's head. Or spoken to him, like, right, he can talk to way I was asked to do it. Bitch, I asked you to do it because I got tired of people overlooking you, uh, disrespecting you, and not taking into account your talent. That me and Mikey have a radio show together that we co-host together. Now it is the Hey Mikey show, but Mikey asked me to co-host it because let's just be honest. I bring the people, he brings the material. Well, I mean, since it's all out there in the open, what's the history between you and Mikey? Why is it such a big deal yeah. to everybody else? Well, um, okay, first things first, me and Mikey's situation started off on business. He interviewed me. Um, then he made like a blog post um, on his website about the show that I was doing. I was doing about him at the time. And um, from there, he had an immediate attraction to me. He just didn't express that. So um, he asked me out to lunch for business. And at this lunch, he expressed it. And I turned him down because I was just like, I think that we would be better as platonic friends. I kind of don't want to go that route, so on and so forth. Um, how did he take that? I don't necessarily think he took that so well. And um, he was like, okay, cool, whatever. And like later on, it was like some months had passed. Then I started dating one of his friends, um, but apparently he had told this friend not to date me <laughs> because he had a thing for me. And um, he actually introduced us. So from there, it just became like a weird situation. We fell out, like we fell out. Didn't talk for a year. Got back cool. From there, some things kind of just started happening. Maybe like a year into us um, rekindling our friendship situation. I was just trying to understand what type of connection we was gonna have like moving forward. It got to a point where it was just like, okay, 
I have some things going on in my life. He had got a new job, which, you know, produced a lot of different opportunities and things for him. So a lot of great things were happening for him. Meanwhile, my world was falling apart. Um, I lost my job. I lost two gigs at the same time. I lost my apartment and I lost my boyfriend at the time. And um, this was like 2018. And he was there. You know what I'm saying? Like he was, he was there. I needed a place to stay. He opened his doors and now here I am. So now here we are just trying to continue rebuilding that friendship that we had. So do you think with me coming in the picture, mm -hmm. it's causing, it's bringing like the issue back no. from what it was? Because no. I, I feel as though every time I'm around, it's shady and it's as though he doesn't you, you want get the me shade around. Towards him? What, what from him? Yeah, like it. It's as though he doesn't want me around, but since I am around, he's gonna deal with me, and he's just like kind of smiling in my face. But deep down, I feel as though he still may have feelings for you. I don't. I mean, I understand what you're saying, but I honestly don't think that boy has feelings for me. Are you sure? I mean, there's only one way to find out. I don't want no drama um, or no, no hateration or holleration in this dance break. So we're just going to go ahead and get it taken care of. Well, you know my schedule's open um, because I just want to figure out what the issue is. Let's get it resolved. Yeah. So their way, everybody is kumbaya. Right. Everybody's fine. Everybody's friends. And rocking and swaying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, waving and sipping. Oh, yeah. You know, I believe mm -hmm. in rocking my hands. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but now that breath, God, it pack a punch. That breath does pack a punch. I do got a little kickback. <laughs> 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 On the next episode of Web Life. They said they blame it on the edible. So, you know she actors. Yeah, I feel like I needed like an extra day of planning. Let me pass oh, out. Uh, Mikey passed out like right in the middle of my shit. At yeah. least you got to perform. What if I was homeless? What if I was a destitute? Right. Like what if I couldn't take care of myself? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, I love Brandon, but me and Brandon be having this, we got this real love, hate type deal going on. He speaks less than of a lot of different types of people who do work get money for sex. Girl, I heard about what? Mikey and Brandon fucking. Oh, I heard. Like, no. Girl, no. <laughs> Look at it. I yanked my monkey ass up. Threw me into the bed. You know when somebody bring you into the bathroom that you, okay. that's a problem, okay. okay? Do you think Mikey want to be with you? I don't understand. It's a thin line between thick and fat. There's a thin line. And as always, thank you for your outpour of love and support. You're watching Web Life.